Righto, so I'm going to jump straight into the second example as well. So this time we've got z squared is equal to 1 minus i. Now if you think about 1 minus i, well, it's going to have a modulus of root 2, and it's also going to have a um, principal argument of negative pi on 4. So I'm going to write r cis theta squared equals root 2 cis negative pi on 4. And using Dwarf's theorem, we've got r squared cis 2 theta equals root 2 cis negative pi on 4. So this being the case, I can see that r squared is equal to root 2 and 2 theta is equal to negative pi on 4 plus some multiple of 2 pi because I can keep on going around the circle. And so solving each of these, I should also make sure to say that k is an element of the integers. So we get r equal to the fourth root of 2, uh, which could be expressed as 2 to the power of 1 quarter. That's really up to you. And then the theta is equal to negative pi on 8 plus k pi. So, again, the solutions here are going to be of the form z equals fourth root of 2, cis, and then negative pi on 8 plus k pi. So, again, I'll start making substitutions. So, when, whoops, when k equals 0, I get z equals fourth root of 2, cis, negative pi on 8. So there's the first solution. When k equals 1, I get z equals the fourth root of 2, cis, negative pi on 8, plus, and then it's just going to be pi. So Simplifying that, we get the fourth root of 2, cis, and then that's going to be 7 pi on 8. And, well, that's um, the two solutions. We only need to have two because it's a quadratic equation. So there we have it. I'll just summarise in the bottom. So therefore, z is equal to fourth root of 2, cis negative pi on 8 and the fourth root of 2 cis of 7 pi on 8. Again, if I were to go any further with substituting in further k values, then I would just see repetition in my answers. So again, not much point in sort of doing that. Well, I think I'll leave that video there and get back with one more to finish up this topic. See you then.